guys, I am Lady Malice, and this is General Atencal, broadcasting on the Outer Rim Holonet. Uh, my esteemed colleague and I were just having a conversation about the nature of the Force, and we thought it might interest some of you. You forgot an important part. You forgot to introduce Master Kapokli! She can't participate. It has to be a one-on-one -on -one debate for a one You're just afraid of her strong force abilities and her persuasive cuteness. This is correct. I'm very afraid. She seems to be a bit tuckered out, though. She thought she was going for a speeder ride, and there was no speeder ride. She does enjoy that speeder ride. She does. So, shall we begin? Of course. So what is our topic? Well, we were just discussing the light side versus the dark side, and which is stronger. Well, of course the light side. Well, of course the dark side. Well, you got nothing to back it up. Other than millennia of tradition and successful governments. You mean a millennium of the Sith being gone? In hiding. Yeah, because they were too weak. They couldn't withstand the Jedi's. This is supposed to be academic discussion, sir. Let's try to refrain from the petty insults. So, tell me about the light side. AKA, she's got no comeback. So the light side, we become attuned with not only ourselves, but with nature, with everything that is around us. It's how we connect with the animals and the plants and with other species and cultures. It allows us to integrate with the universe. What does the dark side do? The dark side allows you to do whatever you want. Like not connect and terrify individuals? If that's what's necessary. First of all, I don't really... I think the terms light side and dark side are just ways to describe how someone uses the force. The force isn't sentient, it's not some sort of supernatural being or power, it's simply an ability that some of us can access, and some of us, like you inferior Praxian citizens, can only dream of well, learning about someday. They're not inferior. They're better than you. We value them more than you. Maybe you do. I think Primary would have something to say about that. Without citizens for him to rule, he can't be a king. This is true. But they're still inferior. I mean that in the most loving way. Mm -hmm. But the dark side is simply not being afraid to use the force to get what you want. But with... To do the dark side, you have to give in to being selfish. You're so greedy. You're you, not you helping like... your fellow citizens or your fellow species or anything. You're just doing what you want. That's being selfish. That's not helping progress anything. All of those things sound wonderful. Why do I need to be helping anyone else? Because united through the light side of the force, we can overcome anything. Why do you not understand that? I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I've never heard so, so much, much truth dogma coming up in my life. Okay. So much truth I think, is just I think the hitting you. Past. I think we can continue if you're ready to speak actual words. I speak truth. Truth is a lie. Just like teeth. Truth, truth is, is what I make it. Emotion is will betray you. Emotions change on the fly. So you'd rather be a cold robot? I feel, I enjoy. That's a way to use limited emotions to help everyone. Whereas giving in to your emotions doesn't help anyone because you're just going on the whim. There you're not are, thinking things through. There are a limited number of resources in this galaxy an overpopulated galaxy. You can't possibly hope to make everyone happy all the time. And what about when two people's goals and beliefs conflict? Someone has to be the winner. That's where the light side comes. We can negotiate, we can compromise. That's how we overcome and grow. We grow towards what? 
a civilized culture, a civilized race. Your definition of civilization. Well, the dark side is all pure destruction. No, there were several very successful civilizations. And where are they now? Very all in ruins. Like many democratic and Jedi-led governments. Exactly, we had the Republic. And then you lost the Republic. Yes, to the dark side. And look what destruction was brought. A whole planet disappeared. That dark side government, we had the best infrastructure. We had three-day shipping across the galaxy because everything was efficient. If you were bad at your job, you died, so everyone was phenomenal. Except that efficiency was at the expense of every other alien species except humans. Not always. Almost always, unless you were able to provide how high value to the empire. That is an unfortunate side effect of. And look how many long, empires. look how long they reigned. You had some of the most powerful dark side users get beaten by Luke Skywalker. Who? A young Jedi who was able to best what was supposed to be the strongest dark side user mm. and his own mm. apprentice, Darth Vader. Debatable. Just saying. I feel like Sidious didn't quite count as a full set. He didn't take the code to its natural conclusion. Well, that's a whole another discussion for another topic. That but, is. I mean, every time the Sith get involved, every time a dark side user gets involved, it comes destruction. For other people, yeah. And for themselves. If they're bad at their job. No, it means sacrificing your family. It means sacrificing the ones you care sacrificing about. Sacrificing your family? You don't even get to have a family. Depends on which uh, Jedi worlds you listen to. The ones you're supposed to listen to? Yeah, it depends on who is running the temple at the time. I do believe Jedi Master Luke Skywalker changed some of the uh, rulings because he seemed to realize that having a family is a good way to connect with the community and with those around you. That didn't turn out so well for a lot of those people. Because of the dark side again. Or is it because of the light side? It takes two to tango. Yes, but it's the dark side that brings the destruction and the ruins. The light side is trying to bring life and growth. But you're missing the fact that that's the point. The dark side is about power and passion and strength. And where do you get those things? You get those things through conflict. So without conflict, how are you going to perfect your understanding of the force? How are you going to perfect your abilities? Through meditation. Through connecting with the living things that are surround us. But even you have to admit that it's when you're in that life or death situation, that's where you can reach down inside and figure out what you're made of, and that's where your abilities come out. Yes, but you don't need the dark side to do that. Unless there's conflict, Fighting... there's dark. Not always. Finding a primal uh, animal that doesn't have that understanding can bring that same situation. So the only way for a Jedi-led civilization to progress is by some sort of primitive gladiatorial games where you go out and fight poor helpless animals? That is not what I said. <laughs> I said, we can have that growth. We can have the communities. We can have the relationships with all those around us. You don't have to have the near-death experiences to be able to grow. Says the soldier, says the person who's been in those situations and seen how heroism comes out of conflict, how bravery comes out of conflict. I'm on those front lines, so that way the innocent bystanders don't have to be there. I'm there to protect those who cannot protect themselves. Protect them from but individuals why? like you who are trying to bring them destruction if and ruins. If they're weak, they should die. No. If, that... if they're weak, they're polluting the gene pool. No, you nurture them and grow them and they become strong. This is the power of the light side. 
It allows those that would be considered weak to be able to grow, to become stronger. But why? If they're weak, they need to be removed for the benefit of those who are stronger. To serve what purpose? To be strong and powerful, that's purpose enough in itself. And what does that bring you? More conflict, more strife, more... Exactly! Strife death causes ruins. protection. Strife means evolution, means perfection. No, it doesn't. It means death. For those uh, who aren't perfect enough. And that's why the Jedi's need to let them grow and nurture them so that way they can achieve the greatness that they have the potential to achieve. Well, Praxium citizens, I'm afraid we're going to have to cut this broadcast a little bit short because I don't want any witnesses to what's about to happen. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm calm. So, Praxium fans, let us know what you think. Light side versus dark side, if you enjoy the most powerful light side. This is time for the outro, or, not more propaganda. <laughs> or the weaklings of the dark side. But let us know what your comments are. Until next time, may the force be with you. May the force serve you. <laughs>